I'm not gonna have that much. Hey, this place is clean AF. Uh oh, -uh, excuse me. What I meant was uh, clean and fresh. <laughs> yep. Who's watching that? Disinfects 99.9 percent of germs. You know. <laughs> I was like, what? Well, Tell right. by we. I didn't oh. know it was coming through here. It was coming through. I'm on my main PC, but I'm talking on my lab on my laptop, and somehow it's we, coming through. No, this. no, it's cool. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll reach out to Lysol tonight, I mean, see if they're willing to sponsor. Hey everyone, welcome to the State of the Game podcast with your host Kajana Place, Kev the King, Thornton Smash, and Mr. Golden Nuggets himself is back, Jay Miles. Thank you for coming back, my friend. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. We've got a ton of topics today to cover, some controversial, some not controversial, and we'll get into all of that. First up, I want to give a big thanks to today's sponsor. Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and are you looking for a way to earn your favorite in-game cosmetics like the awesome Pathfinder Heirloom in Apex Legends? Well, today's sponsor is going to help you achieve everything that you want to, and that is going to be Buff. Buff is an authorized app of Overwolf, which if you don't know, Overwolf is a software platform designed to help developers create extensions for video games, so it's very well known and a great company company to be affiliated with. Buff rewards you for just playing the games that you normally would, such as Apex Legends, League of Legends, Valorant, and so many more. As you're playing, you'll earn things called buff points, and you can redeem those on the website, and you can get anything from Apex Legends coins, PlayStation gift cards, Xbox gift cards, Switch gift cards, and Steam gift cards, anything in the gaming world you can get. Heck, you can even get pizza while you're gaming so you can keep on grinding. All you have to do is download the buff application, and I'll have a link in the description below Below, run it in the background and it uses almost no CPU at all so you don't have to worry about that and get to grinding your favorite games just like you would and start earning awesome rewards right away. Thank you again to Buff for sponsoring today's video and for all you out there that are looking to earn some awesome in-game items or just some cool gaming gear I hope this application helps you out a ton. Now let's go ahead and talk about the content of today's video. Hey guys Jip in here with some questions for the State of Game podcast. Let's do it. I'm gonna start this off with Apex Legends has a leaked team deathmatch mode and other modes looking to come into the game soon. What are your thoughts? So there is something that is being play tested and worked on and it's a team deathmatch mode. It will have multiple players. It should have rechargeable shields. Uh, Evo shields will still be a function. Guns should be dropped off the enemies. Only certain select legends will be available along with a couple of places of interest that are going to be the maps. The one that I know about it being worked on is Marketplace, but overall, should be a really, really nice change of pace for Apex Legends as a like old school Halo player myself. This is like right up my alley. Um, and I, I think this is what I wanted for arenas instead, like the entire time. Damn, bro. Like <laughs> this is like this is what I thought arenas was gonna be back in season six when it was leaked, you know? Yeah. I thought arenas was gonna be like a CDM style respawn, like you could actually, you know, respawn on stuff. So I'm I'm all for this. You know, I grew up playing Call of Duty and I didn't really play Halo that much, but I did play Halo from time to time. Oh, you missed and, out. <laughs> yeah, and, Halo. Um, I was a Sony fanboy. I didn't have <laughs> Xbox. We we talked and Kajana, I think, was one years old when Halo came out, which just made me feel ancient. <laughs> <laughs> Those arcade style, arena style FPS games, you know, just TDM, just hopefully it doesn't have insane skill based matchmaking. Mm -hmm. And you can just relax and just, you know, that, like if Respawn puts insane skill based matchmaking in this, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about it because I don't want to leave BR and leave arenas to go sweat in TDM and Apex. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, I mean, hopefully it doesn't have it, but it, it's, it's a dope idea. It's definitely a dope idea. I don't know. I, I, feel like, to see how it is. I feel like they definitely need to make this uh, more casual because people for a long time have been looking for some kind of warm-up mode to play without having to go drop and spend a, a 15 minutes on loot simulator until you <laughs> find someone and then start shooting yeah. people so there needs to this this needs to be like a like on valorant death match is known to be hey before we hop into comp you want to hop in a death match real quick and get some shots in this is what ne this needs to be this needs to be like a fun you know interactive way to shoot people over and over and over so i I think too. I agree though. It's like we. I think our expectations when we heard arena mode, we were thinking, "Well, what is an arena mode?" We thought yeah. maybe it's going to be these respawn modes, and then when we get arena, I feel like now looking back, I feel like they're trying to get their feet or get their hands in as many places as possible, and then once they get established, then go back and perfect them. Because I feel like arenas is this. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like arenas is like this elephant in the room to of being 
not very good right now. I feel like it is like terribly missing its potential that it has so much. I agree. And yeah. And I feel like I'm like, why are they not adding an objective? Why are they not making it a lot better? Why are they not adding private matches for it? Why are they not doing big tournaments for it? And now it's like, well, maybe it's because they're trying to get their hands in all these other places. Then once they get settled, then kind of build everything up uh, after that. But yeah, I agree. I'm excited for it. I, not only just just in general, I like to see. I'm glad that they're doing big other stuff, like not just kind of adding a new skin here and there. It's it's good to see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. I love how they're building a triple A game backwards instead of having the <laughs> game modes ready. Then BR, they they start off with BR. Now they're putting in the game modes. So yeah, like for Overflow, I thought for sure they were going to do like some kind of like the for the map Overflow. I thought maybe they'll put do like team deathmatch. Or maybe like um, what other game modes you guys said they were going to be thirty for thirty? Uh, so the the source that I have said that they were, they were dropped into a lobby with a bunch of other people, and they they are not a huge Apex person. They're also a Halo person. They said it reminded them of Red versus Blue. So somewhere along the lines of like twenty versus twenty is what I would think the servers are able to handle. Thirty versus thirty in like Whoa. a marketplace would be like and hit see. reg would be really bad. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah that i would think their big team battle is like 20 versus 20 something along those lines yeah overall i see it's a good thing more game modes i'm not sure if that if the only thing i might see a negative impact is that maybe br games rank games and arena games might take longer to queue mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. honestly you want cashers to play this game to like make this game last longer so i see it's a good thing I yeah. remember that was an argument being used, uh, like, it would take longer to queue um, if Respawn... I mean, this is kind of unrelated to, to this game mode, right? But I remember Respawn was saying that... Well, not Respawn, but players were saying that if Respawn were to add a solo mode, it would take longer mm -hmm. to queue into, like, duos and trios and ranks. And to me, that's just a dumb argument because to me, it just doesn't make sense. You know, the po <laughs> adding a new game mode, to me, is not really going to impact other game modes and know without players think it will like i feel like around is still gonna be fine i mean i feel like duos and trios will still be fine if you have um this this new tdm game mode and arenas as well i feel like we we apex has a lot of players to be honest a lot of concurrent players so i think i think we'll be fine i think we'll be fine i think yeah. too is like people don't realize this it's it's an investment so it's like when this new thing comes on paper yes it should affect two times but whenever they bring new stuff they don't realize more often than not it brings this mass wave of new players that are coming to play that specific mode or they want to come try that specific mode or it got them back into the game and therefore it kind of counterbalances itself out also i think it's i think console is usually okay because they already have cross-platform with each other mm -hmm. um yeah i think pc is usually the one who they usually freak out and get worried because you don't get crossplay with PC unless you have that console player in your lobby. No, vice versa. Console has to come to PC lobbies when that happens. So yeah. it's kind of weird. You don't really get that big player pool to draw from from PC. Yeah. You guys remember back in cut days, but when we had like ten different game modes. Yeah, it was. It and was you can, yeah. And you yeah. can find that game in every mode. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Like, Gosh. But, yeah. No. Halo has, has like, Halo had, had like mosh pit, and people actually played it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I know I keep going back to Halo, but, like, Halo has, like, 50,000 game modes plus a Forge mode plus a campaign you can play, and it never seemed to have problems in its heyday getting people to play the different game modes or finding a game. Um, I just don't yeah. think that's a, a great excuse. Um, yeah, and it has, what, three modes? Four? Wrong. <laughs> trios, duos, arenas. <laughs> and no one's one playing arenas, let's be honest here. Arenas. No one's no one's playing arenas, right. so. Right. Well, that's what's then, sad is because I feel like arenas is so, it's it's good. It's just abandoned right now like it, it's bad now but if they really dialed it in it could be a solid game mode it really could it could be imagine yeah. arenas with like a snd like imagine arenas snd with like well see, that's, needs to be. that's the thing that yeah. blows my mind is it is basically search and destroy just without an objective it, it shouldn't be that yeah. hard to throw out <laughs> an objective you get one life true you go in true. you die like it, it should this be is doable. how gears of war this is how gears of war plays their competitive scene it's called uh execution i think is what the game mode's called mm -hmm. it's literally just like 4v4 5v5 whatever just but no bomb and i feel like the arena is like with the whole 
economy system, that's like straight out of Valorant and Counter-Strike. That's always mm. having an objective bomb. I don't know why. So it's like they did a mixture between of a Counter-Strike economy system, but a Gears of War execution play style. And to me, it did not work. Uh, they need to add yeah. a bomb for sure. Yeah. Yeah. We, we need a bomb. Yeah, and if I may add, they brag about how they had about a hundred million players. Yes, in the game, the or a hundred million Unless, active know. accounts, or not active. They had a hundred million no, no, accounts. I think, I, something I, I, something no, like no, that. I think yeah, yeah. They reached out hundred million players who actually played Apex at least once. Yeah, it's kind of skewed because like I'm pretty sure ninety nine percent of those are Smurfs. But still, yeah. like, I'll give it to him. <laughs> the next question I have is about the Seer nerf. Do you guys think it's balanced? Was it too much or not enough? <laughs> I um. So I made a video on this. It was really clickbait. Um, oh, sorry to my viewers for that. <laughs> I just, you, know, so, you, know, you know, sometimes you need to do clickbait videos because it's just, come on, yeah? Right? Yeah. Apologies, dude. But this video, I actually said respawn killed Sarah low. So it was, but Sarah's still good. Yeah. Guys, Sarah's still good, right? I just did that video for the dramatic flip. Sarah's still good. Even though he was nerfed, his, his tactical is still, in my opinion, one of the best frequent and tacticals to use, even though it doesn't do any more damage and mm -hmm. it doesn't uh, flash you and it doesn't um, have like that annoying noise anymore. To yeah. me, it's still a really good tactical because you get to see where enemy is for a good amount of time. That in itself is just really good to have in a game like Apex because that information is just so important. So you want to your teammates as well. Like you can orchestrate and you, and you can see their health bars and stuff. So that's always going to be good. Um, the the passive nerf to me i did notice it because i didn't have as much range as i usually would but the range is still insane it's still good range and you can still use it effectively and the ultimate nerf which basically just increased the cooldown by 30, 30 seconds. seconds yeah right that's not really wow okay mm. It's not going to do much. So I, I still feel like Sarah's a top tier legend. I feel like you're going to see him a lot in Season 10, throughout Season 10, because his kit is just those kind of kits where the only way to really make him bad is to completely overhaul him or to just completely just, like, ruin one of his abilities. Similar to Wraith. Like the, the only way to make Wraith bad is to overhaul Wraith or just, like, kill Wraith, you know? Mm -hmm. I feel like Sarah is one of those legends with that kind of kit. Like, you, it's really difficult to make his kit not useful. Right. But I would say he's still good. I would say he's still, if not a S tier legend, a a a, a top tier A tier legend. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. I can agree with that. Yes, yeah, it's, it's plausible. I, I I will say though, I feel like my personal experience. I played a lot today. Uh, like probably the longest I've played in a while. I think I played for like five hours today. And a lot of series that I went against, whenever I would get stunned by them. You, like before the, before the nerf usually i'd be like oh bro i gotta back up i gotta get out of here now i have this like confidence it's like it's like somebody threw a little squishy muffin at me or something <laughs> it's like it, I, I don't feel intimidated anymore because i can still see i'm not taking damage so mm. i it, the information is huge though i will say being able to see their health bar for that is still good i think he's still good i think mm -hmm. personally going against him it doesn't feel as tough to play against them even though he might still equally just be as good yeah. i don't know yeah I think, better I think to play could, against him. he's not he's not as annoying that's what i like yeah I, it could be a placebo effect too because when you yeah, when you used yeah. to get stunned like just the hair and the noise on being flashed it used to just feel like i'm dead like i yeah I'm dead. yeah like, I'm that's, dead. It. that's exactly, no, it. That's exactly yeah. it yeah but no we don't yeah so i agree yeah. i agree i i, yeah, I uh, me uh, okay uh so for me uh, being a casual try hard i haven't like jmal said it feels less frustrating to play against them so far from what i see nobody's been complaining about seer like as soon as he got the nerf everybody just stopped complaining so i guess respawn did their job and like toned him down where he's still good but not bad and so it, that's my experience. I don't know about you, Thornton. Uh, I'm really happy with where he's at now. He wasn't so much tough to play. He was just really annoying to play against. Because, like, I'd be fighting a team. The Sears teammate would crack my shield, so I'd go down to, you know, put on uh, armor swap or shield uh, battery. His teammate would probably ping me, and he'd use his passive to locate exactly where I was, stop my heal, flashbang me, damaged me all before I like in a, a span of like two seconds I thought he was 
just had way too much in his kit. I think he's a really good legend right now with the ability to cancel heals and work mm -hmm. with his passive. I think that there was just too much originally going for it. Like, it just made it too much to, to like, if you weren't right with your teammates the entire time, you were boned. If he catches you alone, you're, you're, it's game over. So, true. Uh, yeah, my opinion. Is Apex balanced right now, guys? Mm. Watson. Kind of feels balanced, right? Watson. Oh, well, what? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like there's something I'm still holding on to that we heard months and months and months ago uh, from DZK when he was still there that they were trying to, uh, make wraith not like not necessarily buff or nerf her but like kind of go be able to go back to her original state where she was more fun to play mm -hmm. um and not so like like the delay in um like the, the that big x factor being able to make a, a huge play like she still can but uh with the delay with her phase and stuff like that they said they were trying to get her back to being able to make those crazy plays uh, and not feel so restricted which I do feel like she's honestly balanced now, but I'm curious as to know if they're still going to try to uphold that or if they're just going to be like, nah, she's balanced. I asked Ryan the other day what they thought about Wraith and if they were still good, if they had any plans to change her at all or if she was going to stay the same for a while. And they just said they haven't heard anything. So that makes me think that they're kind of like just going to forget that. And other than that, dude, I don't really know anybody who needs a nerf or buff off the top of my head. I feel like everybody that sucked is solid now, and really? I still. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Okay, agree. all right, all right. Wait, I'm gonna, wait, wait. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a huge discourse here and split from the majority. Please okay. don't say Watson. No, nope, I won't say Watson. Pathfinder needs all a new right. passive, one hundred percent. Oh, yeah, everyone yeah, has yeah, his yeah, passive. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but he's not yeah, awful though. No, no, no. He's yes. not awful, but he needs a passive. But he reward. does he need. Needs, he does, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I agree with that. I just um, want it because I love Pat. It's like, bro, give him some love. I don't. Yeah. I, I think he. I think he might still be balanced without it, but I think he does need something. He does yeah. need some because everyone else has something, and he's just. Who? He just. He just. He, well, he just everyone dead. has yeah. his passive, it, and and it was done dirty. Yeah. That's what yeah. it was. Yeah. Um. The other one I would say is crypto, and crypto is is True. useful I in certain situations. But, like, with Seer added, he is now the third weakest tracker. Uh, still, the only one that has to... Like, when you have a guy that can stop heals and passively look around and find people, and the other one can go basically full octane mode and see in black and red with a digi threat, and the other guy's like, mm. oh, I'm gonna go hang out at my drone. That There's a... there's he's, He needs to be worked on a bit. So yeah. He does, he does. What's your, what's, gonna... what's your opinion on everybody saying that Crypto sh drone should follow him. What 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 is your take on that? Like always oh, following him. Like always, oh, Conan. Uh, I don't. I mean, I don't know. That I mean, you've heard, I know you've heard it before though. Like what? It, yeah. If, if if that's if that's the <laughs> ideology, how should it be done? If it should be done, I don't know if that's actually what I would personally do because it depends on a couple of factors for me. Like one, does yeah. this drone make noise? Because if it makes draw uh, noise, then that actually can that's hurt him. Like. There's no surprise. Yeah. True, true. Um, if it doesn't make noise, then is it... A, I mean, he's a good anti-third party. Like, I could be okay with it if you if you can't see noise. And it kind of just, like, monitors, like, maybe not not to the distance Seer and Bloodhound can scan, but, like, say, 30 meters around you so you know if you're going to get flanked really quick. I think that would be... I mean, I'd be okay with that. That's my opinion. Uh, what I was thinking since Crypto has his drone in his back is that um, he, he'll have some kind of ability that lets him know that, hey, somebody's getting near you as a third party, I guess. Like yeah. some kind of cue, like up being like, hey, they're they're coming and like start running or whatever. Yeah. Get to the shadows. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, still, but like I have a really good text movement. Yeah. Yeah. But here's a good positive for Path, right? Oh, we're back. What if okay. Path could just... Yeah, what if Path could just disconnect all of his appliances? Like, once he uses them, he could just, like, disconnect it, and no one could follow him or his teammates. As I a, I a, actually a think that that is something that I've said for a very long time that I would like to see. I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd like to see that. I would also like to see, and I think they're going to maybe do this in the future, combining legend abilities. So, like, say you have a Watson and a Pathfinder, and then the zipline gets electrified. That'd be cool. 
saying that's it's, crazy it's, never thought of that i no. i look at it like this you like you have I, I feel like they're creating a bunch of abilities now that um or they already have a bunch of abilities in the game where there's not this traceable um like way to, to follow like for instance a uh, horizon tactical is there for a few seconds and then it's gone forever so they can get that height advantage and not have to worry about after like say the 10 seconds or how 15 seconds whatever it is after that amount of time they don't have to worry about someone else taking their ability up to them same thing with mm. wraith portal after a x amount of seconds it goes away so they can cover that ground mm -hmm. and not have to worry about uh someone else covering that ground off of their ability plus with path that. it's like when it's there yeah valk same way it's an untraceable way like you can't trace them down or you can't track it's them like down with path. So good. with path it's like it's there it's there and it, it's not going anywhere the, if you place it for them or if you place it for your team you're also placing it for the other team there's mm -hmm. just no way around it yeah. yeah yeah so i agree with kajana that it should be cut i also really like the watson idea i just came up with i think that um respawn <laughs> hire me but yeah, no, uh, the other one, the last legend, I'll say that needs some kind of rework, Bangalore. I just think something needs to happen with her smoke with like now three legends that are able to see through her smoke. Um, and she can't even see through her smoke. Uh, they, they, right. might, they might want to rework that a little bit. That yeah. there needs to be fixed. Bangalore should have like increased vision through her smoke and through enemy Bangalore smokes or just through smokes in general. Like, yeah. Or see a dark, like, at least see a dark figure of them like yeah. a shadow or something yeah oh, yeah that would make more sense yeah kev any closing thoughts uh give her more smokes i guess mm. you guys heard it here Dang. first kevin endorses big tobacco no <laughs> <laughs> now something that's been gaining a lot of traction is the apex legends mod now do you guys think that respawn slash ea will shut this down or is this something we may get for a long time i think that I, I don't know if they will shut it down, but here's what I will say needs to happen. They need to just simply adopt it because it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. You're able to do stuff that people want to do. People want this customizable apex. They want this freedom that they can just get on and say, well, what would happen if this happened? Or what would it feel like if this happened? You have this in other games and people have been asking for this like, maybe not this specifically but they've been asking for this way to customize the thing is the thing about it is i like personally when i play rocket league i don't always get on and go play ranked i don't always get on and go play pubs sometimes i literally go on and free play or like workshop maps and just do crazy stuff that literally makes no sense it's not even meant for the game it's just fun stuff fun things to do in your free time apex needs a kind of like like a chill relaxed environment where you're just grappling across the map or doing some weird stuff that like makes no sense but it's just fun to do i think people are, are going to this because it's just fun it's something yeah. different and i think personally they need to adopt it they need to like incorporate it in their own game obviously it's gaining traction for a reason people enjoy it um yeah. I, I think i i don't want them to shut it down i hope they don't shut it down but if they do i hope they at least say well hey like we're going to shut it down, but it's because we're going to put it in our own game. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Kijana? I pretty much agree with what he just said. Like, I, I think that Respawn needs to take this as a sign. Like, if, if your community is enjoying these modded games so much, mm -hmm. instead of taking it as like, oh, crap, our community is doing these modded games, they should look at it as our community is enjoying these kind of game modes, these, 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 you know, this kind of gameplay. So we should hop on it and we should make it more available for the public and not just a select few amount of people. Yeah. If that makes any sense. So I pretty much agree with what Miles said. Yeah. Um, I've always been a, a staunch proponent. Anytime that the community gets their hands on something like this, they create the coolest shit. Like just straight up, like... Hey, I'm going back to Halo and I'm so sorry, but like Halo had its forge mode and people created a, a game mode called Griff Ball. Like it was it was made yes. by the players and then Halo saw it and said, oh, this is really cool. We'll make it officially in the game. And that's what Respawn can do. They can give people these tools to create something so awesome and be like, they can cherry pick the best ideas and throw it into the official game. And I, I, I see it as nothing but a win. So I really hope they don't shut it down. Um, yeah. Kev? Yeah, for me, I can see two reasons why they would shut it down. The first reason is that two of the people that were working on it were hackers. 
Mm -hmm. And so maybe they might shut it down because they might be worried that they might have done something where if people go and download mm -hmm. this, it might have something where it affects um them. And well, it might, you know, it might go back to um um EA and, and people will be like, hey, how come they have, you know, their server of your game? And, you know, they, maybe they don't want to deal with that. Mm -hmm. And so the other reason I might see them shutting down is because it kind of makes them look bad. Like the fact that these coders made, you know, their own custom lobby where you can do whatever you want with abilities. And maybe they just don't like that that because it may, kind of makes the their development team look like, hey, well, what, what are you doing? Even though I feel like they are working hard, but... It's something that they're working on in the future. And like maybe they like I said, they don't want to deal with that. Like, oh, some like these people made um their own custom world where they can do whatever they want. Um uh now nah, let's shut that down. Although mm -hmm. I think it's still a good idea personally, but I'd rather see like J Miles in the game where I can just I know nothing's wrong with it. There's no there's no chance of me getting affected my computer or whatever. It's mm -hmm. just there and I can have fun, basically. Yeah. I agree with that. Like, everyone wants a way to play it securely. I, I agree with J Miles 100%. They should adopt it into the main game. They should... I mean, th these are how games get better, and they survive the long haul, is they adapt, and they see what the community creates, and they adapt it into their game. And that's... Bro, look at how long Counter-Strike has been going on, yeah. and look how customizable that game is. You can literally do, like, anything you want in that game with all these modded servers and stuff they have. And it's not like... It's, when it's in the main game, it's not affecting or harming the the base of the game, like the, the normal game modes. Yeah, agreed. I This is a question for the comment section. If anyone can post a video game that has allowed customizable settings and it has been a bad thing, please let me know, because I can't think of one game <laughs> off the top where someone was like, oh, I can't believe they added and customized options. This yeah. is bullshit. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I don't think that's ever happened. Uh, Kajan, any closing thoughts? Nah, but I I was just thinking about the Halo Forge mode. Was the Halo Forge mode where like you could create like your own maps and stuff? Yeah, you could create your own maps, mm -hmm. game settings. Right, right, right. It was when I yeah when I actually bought my Xbox 360. I remember playing that game mode, and I was fun. That was when we was not even played Halo. Yeah, like so, it, it, everyone uh, just yeah. loves that stuff. Now I have two more questions for you guys. The first one being about season eleven. The legend is hinted to be Ash or possibly even Maggie, but she's actually dead in the comics. How does this all fit? Yes, it's time. So <laughs> everybody's been speculating that it's going to be Ash. Personally, I wanted to beat her mm -hmm. just because um, story-wise, like they're already hinting at it that Ash is going to play a big role in the story, as you guys can see right here. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it just makes sense that she joins the game. She, I mean, she's already the announcer of the arenas. She has a huge connection with um, Horizon. And that she was Ashley Reed, the person that um, betrayed her. Well, it's not technically confirmed, but it's kind of like, you know, kind of accepted yeah. that that's her. Yeah. And so I just want Ash to be in the game. So that way we can, you know, like, we can hear like these awkward interactions with Horizon and Ash. And he then eventually come to the, like, Horizon's going to come to the realization that this robot that's been friendly to her, that she thought, oh, maybe she's not so bad is the woman that betrayed her, and like she just loses her mind. I just want to see Horizon snap when she hears the truth of who as Ash is. And so for Maggie, now in the comics, what happened in season eight, yeah, is that she told um Fuse, she said these words, um Kai Kai Kat that uh, however sure, you say that, right? Hard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and um, so basically, um, what people um saw is that this means um, I'll see you again, and so mm. you know, it's kind of they they just don't do this stuff on accident. Like, oh, she's gonna die, but she says I'll see you again, and so it's kind of speculated that somehow she survived. I don't know. Maybe she had a gold shield where she fell. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, I have a feeling that we're going to see Maggie, and it makes sense because she was a warlord in her planet Salvo, mm -hmm. and so I, it's kind of been speculated that after this next map that we get, which we think it's going to be in Gaia, we yeah. might go to Salvo, where the next uh, may, the, but that's like maybe two years from now, and maybe we'll see Maggie there again when reunited with Fuse, and they might go take on um. The new super warlord, um, Sandringham Kelly, 
who's in, basically now in charge of the planet. So yeah, that's basically the whole lore oh. about that. Oop. Oop. I didn't even know there's more warlords. Um, yeah, there was. Okay. <laughs> I think the community needs to see Ash because Respawn needs it to be Ash because if they put Maggie out there and people hear her voice again, they are going to flip and it's not going to be good. As much as people hated her voice last time, and I hate to say that because personally it didn't bother me. I'd hate to be a voice actor and get on there and see everybody <laughs> saying that they hate your voice. It's But as bad as it was, bro, they they probably should not do it. Yeah. I don't think it was her voice. I think it was just what her voice was associated with. Like the rings and stuff, the ring flesh. Mm-hmm. I feel like associated yeah. in Maggie's True. voice with the ring. That's like really why we don't like her voice. But <laughs> yeah, that's why I want to see Ashu good. because Maggie just brings back like traumatic events for me. <laughs> I think Kanye and so. I mean, I, I, yeah. I, I am with the, I, I didn't have a problem with Maggie's voice. I didn't even know it was a thing until I saw all the, the posts about it. But I guess if people don't like her voice, then. It is what it is. But personally, I also want to see Ash. And I know everyone who's ever covered like Legends uh, in their YouTube videos, one of the comments is, Ash is the arena announcer. How would that even work? Like, dude, it's a video game. It's it's like... Yeah, <laughs> it's not that serious. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to be like, well, shit, we designed we all these Legend yeah. abilities, but she is the voice of arenas. Won't have like... Uh, the thing about <laughs> Ash that I think is better is she's a little bit more... Uh, mysterious she's a little bit more like um on the edge you got to figure her out kind of like revenant uh well Mm -hmm. i guess it makes sense because um yeah so anyway it's just there's i feel like there's more potential for hype with ash than maggie because with ash it's like whoa bro you know like you know she's kind of you know is she good is she bad is uh what's she gonna do next is she who's she about to kill now or what is she what like plot twist is about to happen yeah. With Maggie, I don't like. I don't feel that. I don't get that vibe. And I feel like, as far as the hype goes, that's what people want. As you could tell, Revenant was probably one of the most hyped legends ever. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I feel like that's probably the mark on the marketing side of things. That's what Apex should do. Yeah. I, yeah. Agreed. One hundred percent. Everyone uh, kind of knows the point where, like, even seasons are kind of like, eh. And Apex Legends and then Odd Seasons are when they go ham. I really think Season 11 is going to go absolutely ham. I think we're going to see Ash. We've got that Tropic Island coming. Um, I don't know if they're going to have the Team Deathmatch mode ready by then, but I know that it, it should come around the time of mobile, so it's like whatever. But like I, I really think they're going to go balls to the walls for Season 11. Um, Random question, right? Yeah. Uh, who do you guys think was the least hyped legend? Or Rampart. The least- who? Rampart. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would say Rampart. Rampart. Yeah. Um, I mean, I everybody kind of saw. I, I, I think everyone saw the grenades and was like, 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 like hyped for me is like before he launches there. I think everyone saw the grenades and was like, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But like, no one, was, I guess Rampart for the minigun was hyped. I, no, I feel like Rampart was definitely the least hyped. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Easily. Well, also Everyone, because like, the backstory of Loba and Revenant. Sorry, go ahead, Kev. Yeah, also because um, we all expected to go to Olympus, a new map, and yeah. the devs were kind of like telling us without letting us, you know, kind of settling us to the fact that yeah, we're not getting a new map, you know, because of whole COVID stuff. They had to rework stuff, mm-hmm. and it felt like they kind of pushed Rampart out there because mm-hmm. they just had to put somebody <laughs> out there, you know. Yeah. And so, but... Yeah, so she kind of got the short end of the stick. I think sadly. that's I think that's also like right when they switched the company that makes their trailers. Cause dude, like not gonna lie, the crypto trailer is amazing, the revenant trailer is amazing, the loba trailer is amazing. They're they're just straight fire. Like there's no other way to describe it. And then like we they're get all those trailer. layers and they look awesome. And then ramp- change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then Ramparts is just like, hey, we're gonna play the video in backwards. And and that was yeah, kind of it. I was kind of like, just... no hype, none. Let, yeah. I, let me tell you something. When I I used to work at a sports and outdoors place, and I hated my job, and to pass the time, I would go to lunch and I would play the season two and season three trailer blast, and it literally felt like a movie. It gave me chills. Yeah. I'm like, bro, this is sick. I'm ready to go play some Apex. Oh. Now it's like season six. When I see the season six trailer. Uh, and even this to me, the season 10 trailer were not that good. Yeah. I, I look, I'm like, bro, what is this? This is kind of like, I actually I like, like the season it, 10 trailer. 
I did. I didn't personally. It, it, it didn't have the hype factor. It was more of a story and mystery. Try to figure yeah. it out what's going on here. I don't like that. I want to be hyped. I want to hear loud music. I want to hear like Kraber shots to the head. Yeah. And I, I want to. I want to <laughs> see crazy stuff going on. See all just the me, legends though. just chilling in the drop ship. And Mirage cracking jokes, and then just Crypto being silent, and then they drop, and then Crypto has his drone, and he's just clapping people with the wingnet. There was just something so well done, like it had character moments, yeah. it had great action. Uh, the song was like everything. Yeah, they need to go back to that company. They should. Well, who do you guys think stuff. was the most hyped legend? For you, Easily right? Revenant. Revenant. It, it was e definitely the Revenant. Revenant. I, no, I, no, I, no, Luba. No, dude. No. Yeah, it was incredible, and I I don't personally think that. I will say this too. I think Revenant was easily the most hyped legend. And this might, you might disagree with this, but I feel like he was easily the biggest disappointment. Yep. Of a, of, of oh, hype. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Revenant was ass when he flew stroke. He was yeah. awful. He was terrible. He was ass. But he was but so I feel cool. like Luba just had so much <laughs> hype because, like, of course, because. Her assets. You know why she had hype. Yeah, mm -hmm. she had some really good abilities and assets. Uh -huh. But um, I feel like because her story was so much intertwined with Revenant's story. Yeah. And because of how just badass the trailer was, like when she was just walking down and she, you know, like that whole like sequence was just. Plus the views were really high that season two for some reason, like the actual trailer views. Oh, okay. I thought. Okay, I thought you were talking mm -hmm. about yeah. I, I I just remember like people like thirteen million. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 On season four, it's thirteen million too. Well, I think that's what really sets Apex. When they connect the legends, that gets people hyped. People want to yeah, see that sure. interaction between them, and Loba had that connection to Revenant. We haven't really got that, and so doing Ash with the Horizon connection would bring a lot of that back. Finish this all off. My last question is, how are you all enjoying season 10 so far? What are your favorite additions? And also, what are the things that need to be improved on? I just want to say thank you for answering all my questions, and I really appreciate you having me here. Peace. Season 10, by far, I feel like is the biggest, uh, how would you say this, like underdog victory. I feel like this season was shaping up, in my opinion, to be terrible, and it came out to be one of the most fun seasons. I've definitely played this season way more than... Uh, I expected to, I get, I actually have not, not as much as I would like to, but I do have some slight craving to get up and play actually <laughs> for the first time. Yeah. Um, it's not, I, I would like for it to be more. I wish it was like a, a stronger desire, but I do have a desire to actually just get on and play just for the fun of it, which is a good thing. Um, uh, favorite additions. I would say, I felt like the map changes are actually good like they're yep. not just random buildings that they just put out there and just look cool and it's something to add it's actually i feel like they're actually fun i love landing at the new buildings i really think they're good solid buildings they got a lot of loot they're interesting you can pull off some crazy plays i personally really like and i, I i'm one who did not like this is controversial i know because everybody loves world's edge i hated world's edge I for a world's very edge long too. time and with the new update, I actually do enjoy the map a lot. So I would think I think they're doing a good job uh, with that. I think the season's overall pretty successful, doing pretty good. Things that need to be improved. Oh. I I I had an issue three hours on stream today getting slapped by Silvers, and it, <laughs> I did not win a game. And it's because the freaking rampage is not. It's 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 worse than the Spitfire, bro. It, it's literally oh. the noob's best friend. Is so pathetically stupid how a controller player with aim assist can do no have no skill whatsoever and like level twenty three Jimmy John <laughs> Neutron over here shooting me and hitting four bullets and all of a sudden I'm dead. It, it's it's bullcrap, bro. The rampage <laughs> needs to be changed. Get good. <clears throat> the rampage, the ramp, the rampage needs to be changed. <laughs> Somebody saw e. <laughs> I am, bro. I, I was getting slapped by Silvers. I really was. Yeah. Um, I agree, bro. Like, season 10 is fun. Mm -hmm. It's the most fun I've had since season 7, you know? Yeah, Agreed. it's fun. I, it's, it's just, I don't know why. It just feels refreshing. Like, every change, it, the, the new wingman hop up. Uh, Sarah was annoying, but he was fun. I mm -hmm. think he was fun to play. He was, mm -hmm. he was annoying, but he was fun. Uh, the map changes are really good. Uh, Will's Edge Ranked is just the best thing. I love... First of all, you guys, who anybody who doesn't like Will's Edge, bro, like, 
I, I just I, I don't understand. Like it sucked when it first came. I don't I don't care what you said. There were I so many choke three. points. It's just such a good map. It just it just feels like a map that you, it it just feels good. Like I have I haven't even played on Kings Canyon yet. I just don't play Apex when it comes around. I hear I, I love Kings Canyon. Yeah, man. Kings. I, I think it. me and Jay Miles are on the same page. Like Kings Canyon is like my home. I because as as like OG <clears throat> players, like it just feels like nah. I'm comfortable there. Like I know what's. I, I have a much better idea of what's gonna happen. Yeah, I'm I feel like I can terrible. control. I can control pubs better on Kings Canyon. I don't really like really? get on the map and say, "Oh, I love this map." But I, I I have a better experience because I feel like I play better and can control pubs better on Kings Canyon. Who do you what guys need? What? Huh? Who, who do you guys mean in Apex? Like Pathfinder, Pathfinder and, and Horizon. And Horizon. Damn, that's weird because I feel like if you knew if you mean Horizon, you know, like Valk or like Pathfinder, you'd be better off in 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 Rose Edge because of the height advantages. The the you probably the, will, but I mean, I feel like I Kings know. Canyon has so many points where you can. I mean, as a Pathfinder main, I feel like I can slingshot myself way more on Kings Canyon. I feel like there's so yeah. many more high cliff points that if space. I need to, I can get in and out of a fight way quicker. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I just don't like the layout of it. It just feels too third party ish to me. Like I it's just, okay. It's You're just, wrong. It's it's, a, it's okay though. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you guys in the comment section uh, who know that was just the best map. Please just comment down below and see was just the best. Yeah, map I would be interested in the comments down below. Well, uh, no, mm. it's 100 percent gonna be World's Edge. World's Edge is everybody's yeah, yeah. favorite. I ran a poll and it's always World's Edge. Just for because me personally, West, because Kings Canyon just works better for me. Do we, we're smart, we're smart. Does anyone like Olympus? Does anyone have Olympus as their favorite? I, 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 I like Olympus. To, I love I, Olympus too. Yeah, I, I up until like last week, Olympus was probably my favorite <laughs> over the last two. You uh, ran into a silver with a rampage on yeah. Olympus. I don't have. Okay, so my only landing spot on Olympus has become right. Next to Hammond, uh, Hammond Labs up on the top of the hill where the gold the weapon spawn, the oh. waterfall, yeah, where the gold yeah. weapon pills are, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I landed there six games in a row and got punched out, and mm. I was sick of the game. It's like every time I, I land there, I can't even get past <laughs> level one, bro. It's so I'm <laughs> sick of it. Yo, just a tip the best landing spots in, in Olympus is either one Hammond Labs or what's that place right next to Hammond Labs, the, the, the factory place. Energy Depot, uh, right? Oh, Energy Depot, like great London spots. Interesting. I like Rift. I like just Rift is good too. There's just yeah. such a circle you can run with oh, loot. Rift, yeah, yeah. I feel like every POI in Olympus is landable. You know, like you I can. Feel like it's I feel like Rift is dead. I feel like it's dead on that side of the map. I feel like nobody it's, really lands there. Which is it, why you should land there because you won't get punched out. Yeah, boring, I get punched though, out bro. way too often. Twenty bombs. <laughs> yeah, with with the trail, people love to just like look at me, and so I just my expectations were really low. I uh, we didn't have content for one month in season nine. I also heard we were not gonna have any comic lore, and so knowing that it was an even season, and even seasons are not that big, I was like, okay, my expectations are not gonna be that high, and so I was shocked that i was actually having a lot of fun i'm a big i don't know i hope they continue making the new legend overpowered i know it was kind of annoying for you guys but for me it was just so much fun like yeah, having yeah having overpowered legend and then nerfing it down i think it's better that way i know they said they didn't intentionally try to do that that it was just a miscalculation but personally i had fun uh i saw a lot of people maining c i know it could be annoying for the pros but honestly i think or the streamers i think they should just ignore them just listen to the casuals and just like <laughs> when people start getting really annoyed by him just nerf him and be like okay make him balance like what series now and they're all the we're good now you, you know you i i was going through last week's podcast when we were playing uh on arenas and one of the comments mm -hmm. i read was Kev the King using Rampart with an L star in arenas is the most caustic <laughs> thing I've ever seen. And <laughs> you love cheese, dude. You're like, Sears great. Sears fantastic. I'll use the L star. I'll be Rampart in a building. Um, well, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Sierra was fun. Sierra was really fun too. Yeah. Like, I think it's definitely over, over better overall for the game. For, it creates more like it creates this factor of, oh my gosh, have you guys played the new legend? He's so OP. Yeah. You got to try him. And it brings more attention, and then you can dial it back down later. But you, when you, when you leave it overpowered first, bring the crowd first, 
then dial it down, you'll lose people, but you'll keep more people than you would yeah. if you brought a sucky legend. Yeah, yeah. I agree, hundred percent. I think I think respawn knows that. I think that's why respawn did it. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree with that. I think they definitely planned it. Um, I think season ten has been fantastic so far. I've been like like J Miles said. I haven't really. The only time I played in all of season nine was when I was streaming. Uh, that um, was that was it. Yep. Just like dude, I didn't I didn't I was playing RPGs. I was like I'm gonna just play games that like I don't have to think about doing stuff. And so this season, like for the first time ever, like Saturday night, I just hopped on for like six hours and just played, and I had a blast. Um, mm -hmm. and it's been fantastic. I really. Before the full formulated opinion goes, I want to see how the collection event goes and what we're getting. And I really, really hope Halloween just goes. i really excited to get the OG style Halloween with the dropship. I'm really excited for that. All right. Uh, I think that'll be it for the Apex Legends State of the Game podcast. Thank you, everyone, for joining us with, once again, your host, me, Kajana Place, Kev the King. Make sure to check out their channels for amazing content on the regular. And our guest today, Jay Miles, make sure to check him out as well. He's Highly entertaining and loves to point fingers at other people. <laughs> Woo's Edge is the best mob. You asked for uh, it. Yeah, I did. Uh, everyone comments, Woo's Edge is the best mob. Just prove it to no, Thorne real no, quick no, no. on Miles. King's Canyon. Woo's Edge is the best mob. Team J Miles and, and Thorne Smash. That's the way it's got to be. All right, guys. Mm. Keep slaying the islands. We'll see you out there next time. Okay.